Okay, this round headlight one was uh, was the mule, partly because the top of the pile, partly because don't know how I'm going to fill those holes yet. Meanwhile, these parts are waiting for my quad headlight that's at the body shop. And yesterday I used this one as a mule for knocking out dents, which worked out pretty well especially over here. But I don't think I want to use this grill. So we're going to see what we can do with this one, which is in pretty good shape, except for that mess. And there's actually a low spot in there where I caught a deer. And we're going to go after that first. Okay, so this is just a quick little, that stuff is the bomb, explanation why you got to go through the sanding, because take this piece that was pretty much taken right off the truck, a little buffing pad. See, it looks brighter. And it's great for cleaning the trim on your cars. Still scratch the shit. Okay, one more quick pass in another spot. Okay, so there you got it. You can see that thrash. You should also be able to see this scratch and that one. Use 80 grit. Right, got a little 
carried away on that one. I can see where I popped a little bit out to the front. Maybe. Let's keep going. Okay, still a few low spots in here, in here, in here. And you can also get some high spots from the dimple right there. So I like to take this, just put a socket behind it. I'll have to flip that over and back a couple of times to see what we get. Alright, I flipped it over. I spent another five minutes going after the dent. Still need a little massage, but I'm going to move for it. 80 grip. Terrible, not finished, but at least I can see where the high spots are. All right, so I flipped it over and beat on it and flipped it back and beat on it some more, and 
it's coming into shape. You can see there's a couple of spots. And that's going to be a little tricky because of the flange on the back side right up in there. And then I started working on the deer dent. That's going to need more work. I think you can see how it's still kind of bowed down compared to the way it should be.